Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so excited about today's video. So today we're gonna be transforming. I am going to be getting my hair done. I'm going to be getting my nails done. I'm going to be getting my toes done and just doing a lot of stuff along the lines of, you know, glowing up and, you know, taking care of myself, doing things that make me feel good. There are so many different ways to transform, but in today's video, it's gonna be more of like a physical transformation, you know, just for fun. This video is gonna start tonight. Tonight's gonna be more prep for my transformation. So tonight I'm going to be soaking off my nails. Right now it is 6.50. It's 6.50 and I'm about to soak these off. It's probably going to take a good two hours or so. And then I'm also going to be washing my hair and blowing it out. So we have a pretty packed evening, but it's all super good things. I'm super excited and I'm actually getting both my hair and my nails done tomorrow. That's why I need to soak off my nails tonight. But you guys are actually about to go to the store with me because this is literally all my acetone left and this is what I need to soak off my nails. So we're going to go ahead and run to Target. But I'll see y'all in this video y'all thought this was. And then we can get into the prepping process. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. This one, I feel like this one is worth waiting till the end. Okay. <laughs> They literally don't have it. All right, so I just got out of Target and they didn't have the acetone that I was looking for. I was like kind of surprised, but then again, not really because I don't ever remember going to Target to get my acetone when I need it. I always go to Walmart. I just always avoid going to Walmart because if I can get it from Target, I'd much rather be in that atmosphere because the Walmart that's closest to me, <sighs> not my fave, but we're gonna go ahead and head that way because I still got to soak these nails off and it's already seven o'clock. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Walmart Walmart so we can get this acetone to get started. Okay guys, so I am back at home now. I got two bottles of this acetone. I'm gonna use up what I already had before I open another bottle. But I got two of these bottles and then I also got a bunch of cotton balls. So I just don't have to worry about not having what I need to take my nails off anytime soon. So we're gonna go ahead and soak these off. The thing about this process is that I really don't mind it. The actual process itself is kind of satisfying to do. It's just the fact that it can take really long, but it does save so much time, you know, just having a clean base. So first I'm just cutting all of the uh, nails shorter. So I'm not spending time trying to remove half the nail that could just easily be cut off. This process, I'm hoping it doesn't take me any more than two hours. I'm actually, I'm gonna time it. Or not time it, well yeah, I'm just gonna let a stopwatch run until I'm done. Just to see because I'm always like kind of just guesstimating how long it takes me and I never really keep track. We're gonna use the aluminum foil to make this an easier process. Oh yeah, but before I even use the aluminum foil, I'm gonna get my drill and we're gonna attach the nail bit I like to, or the first one I like to use to just shave off the first layer of acrylic on my nail, just so it's not as shiny and just everything I'm using doesn't have to work through as thick of a layer. Okay, so now that my nails are cut and I've drilled off the first layer, we're gonna start putting the acetone on these cotton balls and wrapping all my fingers up. So I've had my nails soaking for about 10, 15 minutes, not long whatsoever, and we still have a long ways to go, but I thought I would go ahead and drill off the layer that has started to soak off. All right, so I actually forgot I had my stopwatch going while I was taking my nails off, but it's been two hours and 12 minutes and I just finished taking my nails off. Now that my nails are gone, I'm just gonna file them down because some of them are super long. You see how my thumb is really long. Some of my nails are just, you know. We're just gonna file them down. The reason I'm using, oh my gosh, it looks like nails on a chalkboard. The reason I'm using, um, a fuck, fuck that actually, I'm just gonna cut them. I wanted to use the file just to make sure like all the acrylic was filed down. There was no extra, nothing that needed to be taken off. I think, I think we're good. Okay, where are my nail clippers? Okay, so I have a disaster to clean on my counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up, sweep the floor since there's 
product all over it. And I'll get back with you guys once I'm in the bathroom. Okay, so I'm now in the bathroom. It's literally 10 o'clock and I'm about to wash my hair. But I'm honestly not dreading this part because one, hot showers hit before bed, and then two, my hair is the least dreadful thing. Compared to my nails, I'm good. Blowing out your hair, you know, especially with tools that make the process easier, that is the last thing I'm worried about. I filled in my eyebrows today, so I'm gonna just take that off. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna shampoo, condition, deep condition my hair. I was thinking about doing a hot oil treatment before to just like really prep for my hair to be in a protective style, but girl, fuck off. Look. It's too late for all of that. I'm just gonna take a shower, wash my hair, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I am out of the shower now. I'm clean, my hair is nice and clean. In the shower, I shampooed, I conditioned, I deep conditioned, and I used my leave-in conditioner. Let me show you guys the deep conditioner I used. This is literally one of my favorites. This is the Dove Amplified Textures Recovery Mask. This is the white and purple packaging. This stuff is amazing. This literally feels like butter in your hair, and it makes your hair feel so soft. And you only need to leave it in anywhere from like three to five minutes. I personally think that the longer you leave them in, the better results, but baby, it's, <sighs> baby, it's 11 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and cut it short because I don't think it's going to make much of a difference and my hair's going to be braided up anyways, but this is what my hair looks like with nothing in it but my leave-in conditioner. It actually doesn't look too bad. You can definitely tell I have less product in my hair, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out my blow dryer. I'm going to use my blow dryer attachment. So I'm like combing my hair out as I blow it out. I really hope this doesn't disrupt my neighbors because I'll be hearing them like having conversations. So I really hope, or actually they're probably gonna hear it. Maybe I should go in my room. If they got a problem, they can go to the front. I'm just gonna section it and do layers at a time so I can make sure I get all of my hair. why that felt like a whole workout i literally have under boob sweat and my thighs like in between my thighs are sweating so i just finished blowing out my hair i forgot like as i was blowing it out i realized that i've not blown out my hair since i last got it highlighted so i'm not used to seeing it this light blown out but it's actually cool because i can see my hair that's grown out since my last highlighting session which was like five weeks ago i wouldn't say this is like the best blowout ever but i'm literally just gonna sleep on it and it's gonna look like shit in the morning so tomorrow morning is when I'll go through it again and just make sure it's, you know, in its best condition to make my hairstylist job as easy as it can be. So for tonight, I'm just going to put my hair in my biggest bonnet, just sleep on it like that. And then in the morning, I'll definitely make sure to go through it again. But I think this is fine for the time being. My hair looks super dry. It probably is really dry, but it feels soft. So that's good. Uh, how do I, oh, I normally put it in like twists. Fuck that. I'll normally put it in maybe like four twists to sleep, but I think I'll be fine if I comb through it and then blow it out again in the morning. But that is it for tonight. I took my nails off. My hair is now blown out. Y'all ain't ready for the hairstyle I'm doing tomorrow. I'm actually not ready either. It's something completely different that I've ever done before. I've never done anything like it. So I'm very nervous, but I'm super excited. It's just really stepping out of the box and I literally have no idea what I'll look like. So this will definitely be the biggest transformation I've done because I feel like it could really make me look like a lot different. Uh, I don't know though. So we'll just have to see. We're all in for a surprise. But that's it for tonight. I'm about to wind down, get some editing done, just chill. It's 11:19, so not too late. It could be later. I'm surprised I got it all done by this time. Good morning guys. So I I didn't just wake up. I've been up for like a solid 30 minutes. I've had my alarms going off since like nine and um I'm like finally telling myself to get up. Y'all have been up since like, that's a stretch. It's 10.50 right now. I've not been in bed for that long. Whatever, it doesn't even matter. My appointment today, my first appointment is my hair. And it's not even until 2. And I'm literally like 10 minutes away. So that's why I'm not rushing the process of getting out of bed. <laughs> Did he sleep good? I can't get over how much he looks like a grandpa. I went to the store yesterday to get ingredients to make dinner and literally I got this box of fruit roll-ups. There was 10, they're completely gone. Oh, also, what temperature is it? It's 67 and you guys know how normally I'll sleep with it literally freezing cold in here. But the last couple of days, I haven't been sleeping with it as cold and it's nice. Like I'm still pretty chilly, like the fan is on. At least, you know, I can get out of bed and not be so uncomfortable. So recently on my spam account, I I posted if anyone has any like YouTube channels I could support or small businesses and I literally got thousands of comments so I'm gonna play somebody's video from one of their channels like from the comments because I like to watch YouTube videos 
while I'm making breakfast because that way I'm not on my phone but I still have something to watch because I don't like making breakfast so it distracts me from it. Even though I'm literally probably just gonna warm up some fucking oatmeal. We're gonna watch Desiree Honesty. Okay, intro. I'm gonna watch this one now and then when I'm actually like making food, I wanna watch like a vlog or something. Okay, now I'm gonna look up somebody's channel that's called, or I think it's her name, Haley B. Okay, thumbnail. Hygiene routine, I would love to watch that. Come winter hygiene shopping with me. That sounds super interesting. Okay, so it is now 12.52 and I just finished eating breakfast. Sis really thought she was gonna get in two meals before her appointment. Ah, that was unrealistic. I'll just bring snacks because I'll probably get hungry midway. But for me, breakfast is so hard to eat. But like any other meal, I'm fine. I just get nauseous eating in the morning, but I can't go without it. Or then my stomach literally feels like it's eating itself. So I gotta pick a struggle. Normally, I don't take showers if my hair is blown out because I don't want to mess it up. But I'm just gonna take a shower with like lukewarm water so I don't mess up my hair and have the steam make my hair curly again. But I do want to rinse off because even if I shower the night before, I feel musty when I wake up. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go to the bathroom and, you know, just take a little body shower, run over this hair again with the blow dryer, and then dip. To keep my hair protected in the shower so it doesn't get messed up. What do I... Really? Why does my ear feel closed? Probably all these damn piercings. Okay, do I put it in a shower cap? This shower cap was given to me for my birthday. Let's see if I can fit it in there. I'm gonna do, like, a silk scrunchie and then this. Uh, I was thinking of just putting my hair up in a high bun, but I don't even want my hair exposed to, like, the steam. That'll work. Okay, please don't tell me I'm the only one that like whenever they were younger, or maybe they still even do it now, I don't do it anymore. But whenever I was younger, I used to sit completely on the side of the toilet, which is what I'm doing right now because I'm recording and I don't have anything in front of me to set my camera on. But I used to sit completely on the toilet because I was super tiny when I was younger. And I always felt like I was gonna fall into the toilet if I sat on it correctly. So I guess I would rather hang on a ledge of the toilet, but you're doing that either way. I don't know, something about sitting on the side of the toilet just made me feel safe and it was a habit of mine. I remember one time, it was in elementary school, I was sitting on the toilet minding my business and this little girl comes looking through the crack and she's like why are you sitting on the side of the toilet and i forgot what i said it was something just like i don't know or i don't even know what the fuck i said but i literally when i think of elementary school all i can remember is twinkle toes and literally seeing straight up smudged shit on the floors like i'm not kidding okay so i'm out of the shower and just finished doing everything i need to get ready other than my busted ass hair. I'm not gonna take too much time with this because number one, I have to go soon, and number two, there's not much I can do to fix this. I'm literally just gonna like go through it a couple times. Okay, that's all I really wanted to do, and it definitely feels and looks better. So, ah, uh, at least the middle part, maybe. Okay, just gonna tie my hair back. With the scrunchie, I'm going to put on some jewelry. Okay, and let's go ahead and head to the car. So today's set in the elevator is literally like fart and chicken. Oh my god, there's literally a Q-tip. There's a whole lot of Q-tip on the floor. Baby, how does that work? Why does that even leave here? and it's kind of cool. Cute, cute. It's the braid sticking out in the back for me. It goes down a little, uh, never mind. Let me not boost my head, it's not that long. <laughs>
Because I know that's right. <laughs> oh, first of all, it's freezing, but oh, oh my gosh, this shit. I don't even recognize myself. Y'all definitely helped convince me to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all are not gonna see me not touch my hair. Like, that's a given. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. She did such a good job. I love the middle part. The red is exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, okay. I'm so nervous. Again, we like but oh my god. Do you love it? I literally love it. It's definitely different. I literally love it. You look so different. I know. Don't look like the same person, and that shit looks good. Like it, it looks really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Man, I really do like that. It's funny. I saw the hair color. Someone had it, and I thought, man, that took balls, but that was a good move. That's that looks good. Thank you. But guess what? So, it's a wig. It's not my real hair. What? Yeah, this is not my real hair. Yeah, so I can take this. Yeah, so I actually need to get gas and this is probably the perfect time to get it because I don't have nails So I'm probably just gonna do that on the way home But I got so happy when I was in there getting my hair done when I remembered that I have leftovers at the house You really start to appreciate leftovers as you get older, you know Like when it's your responsibility to cook and feed yourself you definitely appreciate it So I'm very excited to go eat leftovers that I made for dinner last night, but for now We're just gonna go back to the house. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna get gas. I just said that time to charge them so i'm just gonna record on my phone it's literally like the same thing but i got this package in the mail from amazon and i think there should be a straightener in here hair iron hopefully let me not keep talking about it unless it's in here or that would be useless information please do okay so basically the initial reason like the original reason that i ordered a hair straightener was because i had planned to straighten my hair a couple weeks ago or i had the idea to straighten my hair a couple weeks ago and so i finally you know decided i was gonna do it so i ordered an iron but then i decided to book an appointment to get a wig instead so i don't have to straighten my actual hair so now i have this but it's still perfect because you know for the time that i do have this wig on i'm gonna need to straighten it or i want to keep it straight so i got this flat iron but i'm feeling like i should get a hot comb as well because she used that like a lot closer to my roots and just up at the front of my head and it just seems so much more convenient so we're gonna see how this works tomorrow i feel like i could still get it done with this iron this one is super good yeah we'll just see how that goes tomorrow and then i also ordered clear phone case and some screen protectors because i ordered a new phone so that should be coming in the mail soon so i just got these for that so i could be prepared that's pretty much it um i had my hair tied back because i kept touching it but these are what my nails look like i'm literally in love with them it looks like smoke or something fire i haven't got my nails dark i don't think i ever have got them as dark as this is or just any sort of like gray or black now that i'm thinking I also i've not got my nails this long in a while so i'm living for this and i love how they're like see-through as well oh and we can't forget the gold hoops like they literally dance good afternoon so it is around 12 30 in the afternoon i can't sit here for long because i do actually have a toe appointment i'm about to be late for but i wanted to show y'all what my toes look like before because i feel like it's just necessary if we're, they're about to actually look cute again this is what uh they currently look like so from far away you know not the worst thing in the world right ah ah literally chipped really like that's that's not okay couldn't even tell you the last time i got them done was the last time in the last appointment video Ah, uh, it's time to go. Uh, 
Okay guys, good morning. It, uh, it's the afternoon. It's 12.33 right now. And I'm sorry if this first clip of this morning was like overwhelming and confusing, but I was just kind of in a rut. I have an appointment to get my toes done at one. I didn't really explain this earlier, or I don't think I did, but in case you guys were confused why it looked like my toenails were literally falling off and I had toenails underneath, I do get acrylic on all of my toes. Acrylic toes, I actually didn't even know they existed until maybe five or six months ago. I was hooked. Like when I saw them, when I just saw the look of them, I fell in love because I just like the look of the more square toes. I like how neat it looks. Some people don't like it because number one, it looks like long ass claws on your feet and they do. They most definitely do. They can be really long and then they can also just look really fake and be really square. But I love that look. I like long toenails and I like the look of like the square toe. So that's why I personally like to get them. And ever since I've been getting them, I've been hooked. Haven't had any issues with them other than them lifting this time. So anywhere that I go, whether it's my hair, my nails or my toes, I always get them done by somebody that owns their own business. It's always like a single person. I go to a hair salon to get my hair highlighted, but when it's time for protective styles, I've been going to the same person since I've been 16 years old. My nails, 17 year old entrepreneur. By the time I post this, she'll be 18. She, seven, yeah. And then my toes, the girl that does my toes works from home and I think she's, she has to be, I think she's 18, which I just think is incredible. I was thinking of the color I wanted to do for my toes and I've had this French, no, before white but I keep switching between white and like the French tip so I'm actually gonna do like a baby pink which I've done before with the acrylic toes and I absolutely loved it it's been a while and I just wanted to do something a little bit different than the two sets I've been doing consistently just to switch it up and at first I wanted to do white because I felt like it would match my nails the most but number one nobody's seeing my toes like it's getting cold I'm not even wearing sandals I'm literally wearing slippers right now and two I feel like pink would still match because these are both like super neutral colors and would go with pretty much anything so super excited for that just wanted to talk to you guys since I felt like I kind of just threw you guys into the mix this morning okay guys so I just got to my appointment and I'll show you guys what my toes look like once I'm done Hey guys, so I am on the way back home from my nail appointment. It took a little less than two hours. I did get the two nails that were about to fall off fixed and then also the toe that was chipped, she fixed as well. And I got them done, the lighter pink that I was telling you guys about and I love them. I'll make sure to show y'all my toes later. But now for the rest of the day, I did wanna take at least a portion of the day to do some self care. I wanted to maybe do a face mask. I've not taken a bath in so long that's a maybe and if I do I'll like shave and exfoliate in the bath but ah that's a sharp ass that was a sharp turn I also did not have any sort of coffee this morning I've been making my coffee at home but I didn't like prep it last night so I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get coffee okay so I just got Starbucks and I want to go to a beauty supply store to get a hot comb because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my hair as flat and straight without it that thing like I will never use it on my actual hair personally but for the wig I don't give a fuck it's not my hair so i am gonna go to the beauty supply store and get one i can't imagine them being that expensive but tell me why i went to the app store to go look for a beauty supply store in my area i have not been to a beauty supply store it's been at least a seven or eight months it's been a very long time 30 minutes <laughs> You got me. <laughs> it's like still pulling up beauty supply stores for the area I was in when I got my toes done. 18 miles. No. Would Target have a hard comb? I feel like they're not seasoned enough for that. I was trying to go to a beauty supply store. I'd prefer that. Why am I putting my mask on? I'm not getting on the car. We're going to go to Target and get a hot comb. The fact that I've already been to Target twice in the same video cannot be healthy. Okay, so I'm back home and I have my hot comb here. Never thought I would get one of these a day in my life, but it seems pretty useful for the given circumstances. It's like fun playing with hot tools at the moment because I'm not damaging my actual hair. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to try this out really quickly. I'm not going anywhere else today, but I just wanted to see how it worked. There was two of them. One was $19.99 and one was $39.99 and I... I got the $39.99 because this is the one that I saw online that looks good. And then also, I'll literally keep this forever because with the way I'm liking this wig now, I could see myself doing it again. So I just wanted to get one that just felt more promising to me. Oh, this is scary. Then after this, I'm going to just make myself something to eat. I do need to straighten up this bathroom because it is a shit show. And then I could do some self-care, which I'm very excited to do. But definitely want to eat before that. Definitely going to do that, you know, take my time, just wind down. And then tonight will definitely allow me to wind down. That's crazy how this shit gets hot. I'm going to burn myself if I keep playing, but I'm
it's so weird to like see this on me because it's just nowhere near my natural color style it's so weird like it looks so fake to me because it's so out of like my regular comfort zone but i like it and the people that have never seen me a day in their life they would definitely see it from like a different perspective yeah i ended up just going to target because it was right down the street like literally less than a minute and then the beauty supply store it was saying it would have been like 30 minutes away and i was not a fan went to target but you guys know i was not complaining tell me why this hot comb didn't it honestly didn't make much of a difference compared to the flat iron but i'm gonna keep it because one i don't feel like returning it it already has wig hair in it so i'm not even gonna try to do the most for that um maybe we'll try again next time i just finished eating a big ass salad with a bunch of chicken and a bunch of cheese on it i feel so much better now and i'm ready to clean my bathroom but i also realized i literally never showed you guys my toes y'all probably like Actually, y'all probably already clicked off the video by now. I wouldn't blame you. This is what the toes look like now. I literally just took my socks off so they have like this line on them. I did get the baby pink that I was telling you guys about. And I love it. And I actually like how it looks with my nails. It matches enough. And once again, nobody's going to be seeing my toes but me. But they're so cute. I really like them. Okay, dogs is done. So, uh, this is what my bathroom looks like. And there's honestly never a time it doesn't look like this. I'm going to pick up all the clothes off the floor. Put a load of laundry in because it's much needed the selection of clothes i normally get to choose from is diminishing so i need to keep it moving get it going and uh the counter i literally can't do anything on it i can't even see it so we're going to straighten that up and then that will put me at peace so i can take a bath and you know do some self-care and actually have the space the countertop to do it you know what i'm saying Okay, so this is what my bathroom looks like now. Much better. Cleaning it isn't time consuming. It just builds up so quickly. On a daily basis, I'm normally on the go, like first thing in the morning or not long after. So I get ready and I leave. Whew. I am out of breath though. Yeah, that literally took less than 10 minutes. The real problem here, what we should really be worrying about, or what I need to worry about, is this. top half like the top half that just fell off is a load in itself literally like i wasn't even joking <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get this bath running. What I wanna do in the bathtub is shave my whole body, exfoliate. Oh yeah, I shouldn't moisturize until I take a shower, but I'm gonna like get in the shower after. That's what I do after I take a bath because the bath is nice to just like relax, you know, chill, shave because I can really see what I'm doing and I soak in the bath enough for my skin to really soften up and make it a easier and cleaner process. But the shower is where I actually clean, clean. Like with my loofah, I scrub. Yes, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm so excited to take a bath. I literally have like a whole collection of Dr. Teal's over there, a combination of items I bought and gifts. I got these little like, bath bombs for my birthday and I've yet to use them. I'm so excited. They're these pink Himalayan essential oil bath bombs. Oh, that's a mess. But I do also have some of this bubble bar left that I've literally had for a month. And thankfully I cleaned the bathtub recently, so I'm not doing that shit again. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start with some Castile soap because this suds up like no other. When I'm in the shower, this is what I use to wash my body normally. It suds up a lot. So we're gonna use some of that. And then what do I wanna use next? Next, I'm gonna use some pumping bath. Which one should I use? Just calm your mind or there's like lavender. Also, if y'all see my ears literally folded in half because of the shower cap, my goodness. Use some of that. I'm gonna use this Epsom salt as well, the same as the foaming bath. We're gonna use some of my. Let me just. I'm gonna just use the rest of this. I've been holding on to this for too long. I'm gonna open these bath bombs. Why are they individually wrapped? They dissolve so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna take this time to literally just like talk to you guys and just chill. That sounded like I was about to go into some deep shit. I'm just chilling. Like I'm just saying I'm not really gonna be on my phone at all. I love how my toes turned out. My feet look really smooth. Oh no, those are my hands. Yeah, I really like how they turned out. I love the pink. So you know, now we got the hair done, the toes done, the nails done. We're about to get this self care started and then tomorrow I'm gonna do my makeup for the first time since I've got this wig. I'm super excited to see how, like I have not done my makeup since I got this wig and it already makes such a difference so I can't even imagine after I do my makeup. Tomorrow actually I want to go to the 
mall as well. I don't like going to the mall. That's closest to me. The ones, you know, that are provided in my area are just not my favorite. I'm just going for like a specific thing I'm looking for that I need by a certain time, but I'm definitely not like, ooh, yay, going to the mall. It's crazy because I feel like even a year ago, I would have been so excited to go to the mall. Like y'all know, whenever we were a little bit younger, maybe even now, some of y'all have good malls. Like the mall was the place to be. That was the hangout spot. Y'all didn't know where to go, go to the mall. Like that's what it was, like that's what it was. Like that was, that was the place, but now, just kind of downgrades every time I go. This is the scrub I got at Target today. This is actually the only one they had available. And I'm, actually, I feel like I've had this one maybe once, but Tree Hut Scrubs, amazing. Did I get the back of this thing wet? I did. Wait, isn't the purpose of a shower cap to like make sure your hair underneath doesn't get wet? We about to find out. This is the Coco Lada Tree Hut Scrub. And I'm gonna use this to scrub my whole body. Exfoliating feels so good. It's like itching, something that itches like super bad, but nothing really itches. It's just, it feels so good. Especially the Tree Hut Scrubs because I feel like Tree Hut exfoliators are a little more on like the rough side. It's not that rough, but I normally say like if you have sensitive skin, it's probably not like the most recommended product because it is a little bit hard, but it does the job and my legs feel, or just my whole body. Wherever I exfoliate feels so good after. When I got my my toes done i also like i also get a pedicure so my feet were done today shit i did want to scrub then again she did that today too so it's all good because i was gonna look for the little like nail or foot file i have that cheese grater looking thing but i forgot i got that done today oh but i do have a foot mask damn i forgot i do have a foot mask that i got at target the last time i went to target in this video hi louie Maybe we'll do the foot mask tomorrow. I definitely am gonna do it in this video because that's what I bought it for. I thought it would make interesting content. Look at them. So I exfoliated my legs. Now I'm gonna do my arms. I just shaved my armpits not long ago. I think that was literally like last night. So that should be growing back so fast though. Why do I really feel like this is not so to shave, I'm using my Satin Care Ultra Sensitive Shaving Cream. I finally changed my blade after like way too long. It was so dull, it was not even doing anything. And I don't know why I waited so long because I literally have so many of them. Really? But yeah. So I'm excited to actually have like a very close shave. I kind of like, I was thinking about doing my makeup tomorrow and just like have the video done. But for some reason, I'm not content with that. The following day, like I actually have something to get ready for. And I feel like I would feel so much better about that because I'm not doing my makeup for no reason. And yeah, it would just be fun. So like after the transformation is finished, like I actually have somewhere to go. I think I'm gonna do that. So that means the day, or on Thursday is when I'm gonna actually get ready. I just need to make sure I'm awake at a good time so I can have all that done by, actually I literally have until like three o'clock. I am fine. See, and then like I don't even have to do my hair. Like that's out of the question. And then my makeup takes at max 30 minutes. So I, once again, don't know why I'm overthinking that. But yeah, definitely gonna do that. So tomorrow I probably won't even, for the video, yeah, I'm gonna save like a couple things I plan on doing to continue to like transform tomorrow. So I'm not trying to do all that tonight. Like a bath, a whole ass bath and a shower tonight is fine, girl. Like, really doing too much at this time of night? It's not even late. But if I can be in bed early, that would be a dream come true because that never happens. I'm getting hungry again, so I'm gonna eat again before I lay down too. I'll do that after I shower. <laughs> People are probably watching like, what the fuck? She's shaving her arms. I do shave my arms. I've been doing. I've been shaving my arms for so long. I'm also excited to edit tonight because I have a video I plan on uploading tomorrow. And I'm pretty much, I'm literally so close to being done. I could have finished it last night, but I wasn't going to push myself. I'm just going to like watch through the video and maybe do a couple changes, very minimum. And I'll just have go ahead and have that uploading. And then I can start on another video tonight because I have another vlog I could work on. And this video right here, I haven't started. And I'm, what, three days in? My belly button gets hairy, especially around my belly button piercing. Cause it's so hard to get around. Sometimes I'd be like thinking, I literally love being by myself. I love my alone time. I cherish it so much. It's literally my favorite time. I love hanging out with loved ones, but my me time is so important and the older I get, I just appreciate it so much more. My back is hairy too. Let's see what we can collect today. I haven't shaved my back in a while. I just forget about it. It's not that bad. I mean, body hair isn't even bad, but I'm saying there's not that much. Y'all see that? 
thicker layer than my legs were. Okay, so we are going to exfoliate once again. This time around to just make sure I don't have any leftover hair or just anything after shaving. This can also help prevent ingrown hairs. I'm excited to moisturize. That's so random. But yeah, in a shower, I'm just gonna wash my body. And that's pretty much it. Then just moisturize after because I already did everything else. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna want to eat again. I ate the salad because I'm making sure I get greens in every day now because it was ridiculous. The leftovers I ate yesterday, I'm probably just gonna eat that again because I just ate. So I don't really care what I eat at this point. I just don't want my stomach growling. I'm scared I'm gonna get my hair wet now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shutting my door like I am not the only person here other than my cats. I just got out of the shower. When I tell you, when I tell you, I literally feel so good. I washed my body with like this coconut oil body wash and then I moisturized with the matching lotion. I used this Johnson's Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. First time trying the oil gel and I loved it. This hair is literally so bright. They're begging to come in. I just shut the door. I just put my hair in a bonnet. It was recommended for me to sleep with a scarf as well, but I tried it, didn't work out. So I just have my hair in a bonnet. This is what I did last night as well. I didn't have any issues with it. It didn't slip off. And then I also put a silk pillowcase back on my pillow. So even if it did, I'm still getting pretty much the same protection. Also, I'm not really like dying to keep the edges looking how they are. So I'm doing that again. Good morning. So I just made iced coffee. I'm like, why the bottom look like that? I think it's just like grounds, but I made iced coffee this morning. I've actually been really enjoying making my coffee at home opposed to buying it. Number one, because it's better on my bank account. And two, it tastes really good. I used to do this religiously in like 2018 and I just forgot, I guess. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and we are about to attempt to straighten the wig, you know, um, make it look better. The edges, baby. First of all, they're almost gone. Second of all, yeah, no, this isn't gonna cut it. And then my dumbass yesterday, I was trying to like lift the edges off my head a little bit because I felt like they were too like glued to my head. Like they just didn't look realistic. And um, I forgot the lace comes up. But you know, we're gonna do our best. I'm not even gonna try to layer it. I plugged in both the comb and the iron. This shit sucks, I'm sorry. This iron is amazing though. Okay guys, so I'm home and I have not talked to you guys in like a couple hours, but I'm home and I actually went to the mall with intentions of getting like a certain item and then they didn't have it. So then I went and got things that I didn't need. I went to Bath and Body Works and I thought I would give you guys a little haul. I did get four wallflowers. I love wallflowers. Candles and wallflowers are both amazing. I just like wallflowers because you don't have to worry about lighting them, blowing them out. They just make a whole entire room smell so good. I got two in winter candy out which is like my favorite winter scent and then I also got linen and lavender which I'll probably put in like the bathroom because it's more of like a fresh and clean scent and then I also got frozen lake which smells like men's cologne I always put these type of scents right at the front door the next thing I got was two fragrance mists this scent which I've never heard of before it must be new or maybe not I feel like they recycle the same scents every year but put different packaging on them but this is in snowflakes and cashmere oh my gosh this smells so good I got this even though it really reminds me of a scent that I already have which is velvet crush i think by victoria's secret this smells pretty similar but i feel like it's i feel like it's a little bit sweeter this shit literally this really smells the exact same yeah i don't know they smell super similar and then i got this fragrance mist which is in sweater weather which also smells really good it's different Ooh, this smells really good though this would hit like right after a shower so then i also got in the same scent the snowflake and cashmere scent i got the moisturizing body wash so i also got this lotion which i've never heard of before this is like a part of their aromatherapy line this is in stargazing meditation i loved how that smelled and then i also got the pillow mist because i love spraying a pillow mist on my bed or this is like a an essential oil mist pretty much the same thing i love spraying these on my bed before i go to sleep and i had a lavender one i got from target but it's literally out so i got one that i can spray on my pillow every night it smells so good oh i don't know what it is but i love doing that i also just got this little lip gloss this is a mentha lip tint in pink mint oh my gosh this candle i'm about to go on oh my gosh i just got a whiff of it i'm about to go online and see if i can find anything else in the scent strawberry pound cake holy shit oh 
let me look right now if they got anything else that smells like this because I want to smell like this for the rest of my life. So then lastly, I got some lashes. Literally my favorite lashes of all time. These lashes seriously look like eyelash extensions when on. These are the lashes I always wear. I think I got four or five pairs of them because I always order like two. And then I don't like to wear them too many times because the glue builds up and it's not cute. Yeah, I ordered five. But this is what they look like. These are my favorite lashes. This is what they look like. So pretty. And that's everything that I received today. Okay, so something that I want to do are these foot masks right? I got this the other day at Target. I'm pretty sure I told you guys about it, but they're basically like these little socks that you put on your feet and you let them sit and then once you take them off, your feet are supposed to be a lot softer. There's actually some that you can order on Amazon that literally have a whole entire layer of dead skin peel off your feet. I wish I would have got something like that because it would have been like super interesting to see. I'd be very curious, but this was in reach. So it says, apply to clean dry feet, remove the foot masks from the sachet and gently unfold. Slide your foot into the, all I wanted was the time, 15 to 20 minutes. So we're going to do the 20 minutes because that's not bad. I'm in the bathtub or I'm like sitting on the ledge because I did want to like rinse off my feet beforehand because I've been walking around the house and I'm all like dirty ass feet like chilling in the socks. Let's open up these masks. They have little avocados on them. I think or on the picture. Let's see what the actual foot masks look like. Oh they're so cute. Whoa. The only other time I've used foot masks they're from Sephora and they looked exactly like this. Smells good and wrap it around like this and then do the same for the other foot okay so we're gonna let these little avocado booties sit on my feet for 20 minutes so while I have these masks on my feet, I'm also gonna do a face mask and whiten my teeth. I feel like I should actually put the whitening strips in first so I'm not trying to like dig around my mouth after eating. Let's go ahead and do that. Why he scared? Ooh, it already smells good in here from the wallflowers. I'm gonna start by putting my hair up in a shower cap so it doesn't get in the way when I'm applying the mask. Cause once that shit touches my hair, it's over. I'm gonna have to shower after anyways, so I'll just leave it on. Okay, let's close it up. It feels like there's a, yeah, there's like a hair. So the Aztec clay mask is right here. Let's go mix it up in some apple cider vinegar. Ah. Wasn't I supposed to be putting the whitening strips in? At least I already made the mask, right? Oh my God, it's so watery, but it'll be fine. Okay, but I've had this kit for the longest time and I've been kind of scared to use it because it just looks intimidating. And then also I'm scared. It's gonna like burn my enamel off. These are Crest 3D whitening strips, but they have like the light that comes with it. I don't know how much more effective that makes the process. It says to apply the whitening strip, place the light against strips for five minutes. Light will turn off after five minutes. Then remove the light and strips. Oh, that's it? Yeah, we're doing this because I only have to sit for five minutes. And normally I have whitening strips on my teeth anywhere from like, 30 minutes to an hour and a half. If I don't feel like taking them off, it's absolutely horrible. I did whitening strips consistently for a while once I tried them once and realized, oh shit, this actually works. I don't do them as often, but I do like to do them here and there. During times like these, if I'm just trying to treat myself, uh, this isn't really treating myself, but just do the most. This is what it looks like. Also, I'm not trying to convince you to whiten your teeth or anything like that. It's not necessary. This is just something I personally like to do and see results with. But having extremely white teeth isn't even natural normally. My teeth, like, they're pretty light, but I feel like literally everyone's teeth has a natural yellow hue to them. So why am I nervous? Uh, maybe I should be. Okay, we're gonna stretch it. Dry my teeth and apply them. Now we're gonna apply the bottom strip. If I start to feel any sort of, like, irritation or weird feeling, I'm taking this shit off. It is not that serious. So we have our light here. Should I have washed this? Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Okay. I was not expect. Ew. Damn it, life. Oh. Ew, oh my God, that's so fucking disgusting. Ah, uh, it's the drool. It's the drool. I'm gonna brush my teeth. So the whitening strips are off. That was a much more enjoyable process than regular whitening strips just because it did not take forever. Literally as soon as I knew it, the little light was beeping and I could take it off. This mask is so much thinner than it normally is for me. It's fine. I think it's still, as long as it still dries hard and like cracky, cracky, then we're good. This shit like 90% apple cider vinegar and 10% mask, but literally all I had to do was add more of the mask into it. I'll be right back. Okay, this is so much better. Okay, I'm gonna let this mask sit on my face and then once it dries, I'm gonna rinse it off and then we can hop in the shower. My face is so red. This happens every single time I use the Aztec clay mask. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the shower. 
Hey guys, today is December 10th. It's um, it's like around two o'clock in the afternoon and we are getting to the point where I'm actually going to apply makeup to my face for the first time since I got my hair done, since I got my nails done, since I got my toes done. That really doesn't make a difference, but yeah, you, you guys get the idea. So I'm sitting here in my room because this is where I'm gonna wanna do my makeup because I'm in natural lighting and I normally don't do my makeup in natural light, but I feel like I should more often because it allows me to see what my makeup is gonna look like whenever I actually go outside. So I'm super excited to do that this morning once again I'm not the most knowledgeable about wigs like I'm still learning about them and this is my literal first experience with them I didn't do much research before I got it done if we're being honest I was like I was trying to touch up my hair this morning because I had one errand to run this morning I had to go and get that check written out that I told you guys about not long ago I was straightening my hair and I put like a sheen in my hair expecting it to kind of make my hair just like shiny like how I'll use it in my regular hair no it made it so greasy it wasn't really moving and ah, I was like I really just fucked this shit up and I'm not gonna wash it because I don't know what to do after that and then oh my gosh I was trying to look up like remedies on how to fix it and people were saying baby powder works but I didn't want to go back out and get baby powder so I feel like it kind of absorbed into the hair a lot more than whenever I first put it in because whenever I first put it in it was not it was not cute and then I had to go out like that to go run my errand ah. Yeah, not the best scenario, but I think it's okay now. And I still have time for it to kind of soak in and do its thing. I'm so excited to do my makeup. I'm gonna go in the bathroom really quickly, wash my face so we have a clean base. I've yet to do that today. Bring all my makeup out here and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm so excited because I literally have no idea what it's gonna look like. Okay. Okay, so I have washed my face. I would put my hair back so it's not in the way when I'm doing my makeup. I have my mirror and I placed all my makeup on my windowsill. And and we're about to get started. So I'm gonna kind of, I'll probably speed up a majority of the process because I could literally sit here and talk all day, but I feel like I recently did that in a video where, you know, I was kind of talking to you guys and doing my makeup. So if you want something a little more in depth, I have other videos that will do that for you. But I went to import the footage that I filmed for this video thus far into my laptop last night and it was already five hours long. So I think I'm just gonna just focus on actually doing my makeup more than I am talking. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'm gonna start with my primer. Today I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This stuff is amazing because it just gives you a super matte base for your makeup and I feel like it works really well. Guys, I'm so excited to see. This is gonna be like the final look. I'm no, I have no idea what I'm wearing yet, but it's not gonna be anything anything crazy nothing different than what i normally wear if anything i'll be comfortable i'm very excited regardless eh, christmas colors <laughs> so I did my makeup <laughs> I finished my makeup this is the look we ended up doing I say it as if it's anything different than I've ever done it's definitely not but I absolutely love it the only thing different that I did that I normally don't do if I'm gonna wear more makeup is some like brown in my crease and then also oh I put little gems in my inner corner Yes, this is my makeup done along with my hair. This is pretty much what we're gonna look like and I am very pleased with the outcome. Normally with a video like this, this is where they would end it after they like get ready, but I don't know why, but it does not feel right to end this video right now, like at all. So I'm not gonna end it probably until later in the day, but I did wanna update you guys on what we're looking like. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like the wig looks better the longer I wear it. Or over these last couple of days, I feel like this is the best it's looked in the most natural it's looked like the closest has been to my scalp i don't know i would have thought it would have been the opposite but that's it for now i'm definitely not ending this yet I, I just don't want to i just want to keep talking to you guys and probably show you guys what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day maybe but this is it for now this is our this is what we're looking like okay so it's 4 35 and lee is actually on the way to my house right now he probably still has a good at least 45 minutes until he gets here so what i'm about to do is the same as shit i did yesterday which is going to the mall and you guys are probably like girl really 
Why aren't you trying to like say funny or something? So if you guys did watch my sibling sleepover video, I had mentioned in that video how my friend's birthday is coming up and she's having like a little get together dinner type thing, or it's a dinner. And the theme is like cargo pants. And I thought that was cool. I had actually ordered some, but they're not gonna be here in time, but I really don't wanna, I feel like that's a really easy instruction that could be, you know, attempted to accomplish. I mean, I did order some, but they literally just shipped today. So I'm about to go back to the mall and go into stores that I didn't go into last time. Cause last time I literally went into American Eagle, H&M and Bath and Body Works, that's it. Tamia, my friend whose birthday is today, she was saying she got some at H&M in the men's section and I did not look at the men's section and also PacSun. So we're going back and you guys are coming with me because I did not want to end this video So you guys are gonna go probably won't do much talking there because the mall is a very scary place when you're by yourself We're gonna go ahead and head that way and I'm gonna make sure I get all of this done before Lee gets here Actually, let me see where Lee is. Oh, he's literally 30 minutes away. I'll be right back I did not like that at all and then I didn't even realize until I was in Sun, but I didn't have my phone and I have multiple people on the way to my house it's literally my brother and Lee but they're both there and I'm not but I think they're just gonna wait for me to get there I'm not far at all so I think we're all just gonna meet there and upstairs I did not find cargo pants for the life of me like I don't know I literally went to the same place that Tamia did and didn't find anything maybe we have two different understandings of what cargo pants are I don't know I did want to wear actual cargo pants but I do have sweatpants that have the look of cargo pants so we're just gonna go with that because one it's not that serious like I don't think she cares that much and two I'll be comfortable because I'm not actually wearing an uncomfortable material and I'm not mad about it the only thing that I did actually get from the mall was Cinnabon yeah once I get home we are just I think we're just gonna start heading out we're gonna go over to Tamia's place it's just her over there and we're gonna take some or Lee is taking some pictures of her you guys I am so tired it is one o'clock in the morning, which normally it's not that late for me But given you know what I've done today and just how I've kind of been all over the place all day I am just so ready to take off my makeup take a quick shower and just relax Heavy on taking off the makeup, but I actually just got finished making some stories for Savage X Fenty Hence the reason I'm wearing look how cute this crop top is first of all first of all I would go out in this with some sweats or something. That's cute not complaining about that That's always a good time, but I am ready to just kind of wind down and I also Definitely wanted to get back with you guys to close off today's video. I am so excited for you guys to, you know, watch this video and be able to see the process of, you know, transforming from beginning to end. I appreciate you guys for sticking to the end if you did, and if not, I do not blame you. If you guys have got all the way to the end of this video and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.